Hello, my name is Kevin Ohlendorf, and I'm the president of the Ohlendorf Appliance Laboratory. For over 80 years, our laboratory has been fabricating all types of habit appliances to help dentists correct tongue thrust and thumb or finger sucking habits for their pediatric patients. We're the experts in this field and we have seen it all. I want to share with you our expertise so that you can provide your patients with the best preventive care possible. Habits can be very harmful and can alter the patient's growth and development. If a habit continues too long, it can make orthodontic treatment extremely difficult, more expensive, and the final results can be compromised. Appliance therapy is an excellent way to correct habits early to allow your patients to grow and develop properly. In this video, I'll show you the most popular habit appliances that we fabricate to correct tongue thrusts and thumb or finger habits. I'll explain the advantages of each type and why you may want to choose one over the other. Let's take a look at some habit appliances and see how they can benefit your patients. The main factor that promotes a thumb or finger sucking habit is the suction that is created in the palate. If you can break, block, or prevent the patient from gaining that suction, you can break the habit. There are many fixed and some removable appliance options for you to consider. The appliances can range from very passive to very invasive, depending on how aggressive you want to be with the patient and how badly the patient wants to quit. The most passive and easiest appliance for a patient to tolerate is the bluegrass appliance. This appliance is ideal for a patient that wants to quit sucking their thumb or finger but needs a reminder. The appliance has a roller on a wire. When the patient attempts to suck their thumb, the roller prevents them from being able to create any suction. If they unconsciously put their thumb in their mouth, this appliance will quickly remind them not to without causing them any discomfort. The Habit Crib Appliance can serve two purposes. It's a more aggressive way to stop a thumb or finger habit it, and it can also work to correct a tongue thrust. The crib will block the thumb or finger before it can enter the mouth so no sucking can occur at all. If the patient has a tongue thrust, the habit crib can also block the tongue and prevent it from thrusting forward. It will force the tongue to go up into the palate where it belongs. If the patient has both a thumb sucking habit and a tongue thrust, this is a good appliance to address both issues. The most aggressive thumb or finger sucking habit breaking appliance is the hay rake. This appliance has prongs to poke the patient's thumb or finger every time they try to suck them. Additional prongs can be added if the doctor feels it is necessary. We fabricate the appliance with rounded off ends on the prongs to try and limit the discomfort as much as possible. If the patient has no desire to quit this habit, the hay rake appliance is the last resort. Some patients have a habit of sucking or biting their lower lip. This habit can cause the lower anteriors to be retracted and the upper anteriors to flare forward causing a dramatic overjet. A lip bumper is a nice appliance to prevent the patient from being able to suck their lip. It holds the lip away from the teeth and it won't let it go up and under the upper anteriors. With the, the lip away from the lower anteriors, they will naturally begin to move back to their correct position and the upper anteriors will retract so the overjet won't be as severe. This version of the lip bumper is removable so the patient can take it off to eat and brush. It can also be tied in place by ligature wire or chain elastic if you want to make it fixed. Some doctors will tie it in for a couple of weeks to break the habit and then untie it to allow the patient to take it out once the habit is starting to break. A popular tongue thrust retraining appliance is the myofunctional tongue bead. This appliance has a bead in, at the back of the tongue for the patient to spin. 
The patient should actively spin the bead two hours per day in each direction. Spinning the bead strengthens the muscles and promotes better tongue posture and function. Many doctors will place this appliance while the patient is in orthodontic treatment to retrain the tongue while the teeth are being straightened. It's important to have good upper arch form in order to house the tongue properly to stop the tongue thrust. Habit loops can be added to any expansion appliance so you can expand the arch and break a tongue habit at the same time. The loops will expand along with the appliance. One cause of tongue thrusting is a narrow upper arch. Expanding the arch will provide more room for the tongue to function properly and help reduce the amount of thrusting. A myofunctional tongue bead appliance can be used after this appliance to continue to retrain the tongue and maintain the arch development you achieved from the expander. In some cases, a removable appliance will work nicely to help break a habit, especially if the patient wants to stop the habit but needs a reminder. This can be a very effective at night. The removable option allows the patient to wear the appliance at night and remove it during the day. This appliance can be effective for tongue thrusting or thumb and finger sucking habits. As long as the patient is cooperative and wants to stop, the removable habit appliance will work very nicely. As you can see, there are many options for habit appliances. If you're using a variation of one of these appliances that's different than what I have shown, please let us know. We can fabricate these appliances any way you want us to. We'll keep your specific instructions on file so you get your appliances fabricated the way you want them every time you send us a case. In order to send us a case for a habit appliance, we will need a set of upper and lower working models, or PVS impressions, of both arches. It's very important to send the lower model, so we can make sure that the appliance does not interfere with the occlusion or the lower arch. One big question we always get is about sending in bands. About 75% of our doctors send us the case without pre-fitted bands, and we select and fit bands and fabricate the appliance for you. If you want to fit your own bands, you certainly can. Please do not pour the bands in the model. Send them separate in a plastic bag. Thank you for watching this video on Habit Appliances. If you would like more information about our services or other appliances, please visit our website or our YouTube channel. We specialize in appliance therapy and would appreciate the opportunity to fabricate some appliances for you so we can provide you with the expertise that comes with being in business for over 80 years. Our technical support experts are available to answer your questions. If you're unsure about the best appliance for a specific case, we can help you decide on the best design or customize a design to fit your patient's needs. We have a tremendous amount of expertise and information to share with you and we can let you know what works and what doesn't and why one design may be better than another for your cases. All you have to do is send us the case and write call me on the prescription sheet. When the case arrives one of our expert technicians will look at the case and call you about it. This service is always free of charge and we're happy to answer your questions. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope you will consider sending us a case or two so that we can demonstrate the many benefits that we have to offer at the Ohlendorf Appliance Laboratory.